guys, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm here because I got a yarn crush box. Um, they sent it to me so that I could review it for you guys, kind of take a peek at what's inside. As you're probably aware, there are several different Yarny Goodness subscription boxes available to us, and they all have something a little bit different. I've been subscribing to Knit Crate for about 10 months now, and I really like it, so I was excited when Yarn Crush reached out to me and asked if I could review their subscription box and kind of take a peek at what's inside and uh, see how fun it is for you guys. So, here we go. Okay. So first of all, it gets wrapped in, look, even my dog likes it. Um, it is wrapped in pink tissue paper with a fun sticker on it that says, full of yarny goodness, which did we not just say, yarny goodness? So I really like the, um, the actual packaging of the yarn. So that's a plus. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, packaging isn't, you know, a deal breaker, but it just makes you feel good when things are packaged nicely. For those of you who sell on Etsy and whatnot or buy a lot of things from Etsy, then you know that when you open a nicely wrapped package, you know, it's just a little extra exciting. So, ooh, this is cute. Okay. So this is the September 25th box, and look how pretty that is. It's like turquoise and like either a red or a reddish pink. It's a pretty color. And it's just, it's laid out very nicely. Um, it looks very professional. So the yarn this month is uh, True North Strong Sock from Violet Yarn Company, a blend of 80% blue faced luster. Do I ever say that right? I'm never really sure. Wool and 20% nylon. The strong lustrous blend is easy to care for and ideal for socks. So that's exciting to me because I am a little obsessed with knitting socks right now. Um, Violet Yarn Company developed this Yarn Crush exclusive colorway to pair perfectly with this month's Peacock inspired knitting pattern. So this is an exclusive and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it very well on camera but it's mostly like this uh, tealy turquoise type color but then it's sprinkled with greens so it is very kind of like peacocky and just really really pretty and this is one of those colors that I've been really obsessed with lately. Um, if you check out anything that I've knit in the past six months or so, this color keeps popping up. So I'm definitely obsessed with it. Um, and there is the Yarn Company logo. If you want to check it out, it's cute. It feels like it's going to be really solid, like make a really nice sturdy sock, which is one of my biggest concerns right now because I've switched the type of heel that I use, so I feel like the, I need more sturdy yarn. That is super pretty. I'm excited about that. And then, oh man, there are so many fun goodies in here. Okay. The pattern is Tail Feathers, which is a pretty yet practical sock that combines narrow cables with a simple feathery lace pattern reminiscent of the plumage and tail feathers of a peacock. So it goes really well. Um, put a close up here of that. Then you can get a nice view of the design of the, the packaging too. Look how pretty those socks are. I haven't experimented with really... Um, detailed socks so maybe this can be my my first pair of socks like this that'll be really cool um, let's see ooh so first of all everything is pink well not first of all like 20th of all so everything is pink this is like a little pocket mirror oh my goodness this is awesome um, all you need is love and lots of yarn it says and it's so cute. Look at that. I'm totally going to carry it around in my purse. And there's a little mirror. I'm really excited about that. That's cute and practical. And then, I feel like I keep saying and then because there's a lot of, I'm really excited about this because you can never have enough of this. It's a package of um, different soaks. This is the type of stuff that you um, wash your hand knits in. Um, it looks like there's a bunch of different, um, bunch of different times. It's like a sampler. Yeah, it says um, sample all of Soak's most popular scents with this eight pack of travel size mini soaks. So this is gonna be really fun. Um, 
Let's see here. Got two yuzus, which are the orange, two figs, which are yellow, two laces, and two celebrations. So that's really cool. Um, I was just thinking I'm starting to run out of. I don't. I don't think I have soak brand. I actually forget what type of brand that I have. I got it in a kit from Knit Picks, and I really, really like it. But I was just thinking that I was going to be running out of it soon, so I would need some. So I'm really excited to be able to experiment with that. And then this little doohickey is a self-measuring tape. Ooh. So this looks interesting. This is what it looks like. And then the back says, accurately measure yourself for a flawless fit without any help. So I'm going to open this up right now so you guys can check it out. Um, while trying to read instructions while a dog and a cat are trying to climb on me. So this should be great for you guys. So press the button and pull out a bit more measuring tape than you think you'll need. So like, I guess if you want to measure your head, for example. So you wrap it around and then you take this doohickey on the end and you can slide it in here. So whatever you're measuring around sticks and then you can take it out. And then if you let go of the button, it stays. That's pretty neat. That is really cool. And it has their logo on it. This is something I haven't seen before. Maybe I've just been living under a rock. I don't know. You guys tell me, but this is really cool. And oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, heel, also from Soak, comes this foot cream for feet worthy of hand knit socks. And it's cucumber scented. So that'll be, that'll smell really good. And you don't have to be a knitter to use it. So I'll let you guys know how it, this is. I'm, I made my mom a pair of socks for Christmas. She already knows, so if she's watching this, we're good. Um, so I made my mom a pair of socks for Christmas, and maybe if I like this, I can put it in and make like a cute little, cute little gift situation. And then, I'm not going to show you this whole thing because it is the pattern. Um, I think I want to say the patterns are designed specifically for the yarn each month. But anyway, this is the pattern and it comes on two, two little um, heavy pieces of, you know, thick paper so that they don't get destroyed. And um, everything just looks really professional. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, pattern looks simple to follow. There are charts. I wish my dog would stop barking, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so yeah, I really like the way that this is presented because the pattern's included. Um, I really like Knit Crate's patterns and whatnot, for example, but you do have to go online and claim them, which is like an extra step. And I do it every time. It's not that big of a deal, but I also sometimes forget about it and have to claim them later on. And my cat's playing with scissors and that's not good. But yeah, I do have to go online and claim them later on, which me with my forgetfulness isn't good. So again, that was the September 2015 box. I really like it. I think everything was super high quality. Oh, and something else that they do, which is nice, is they put the value of everything in the box. Um, that's something that BarkBox does that I really like, that they put how much each of the items are individually so that you can compare um, how much you paid for the box versus all the items themselves. So a yarn crush box every month, I believe is $32.99 and the total retail value of this box is $48.97. So that's a pretty good savings. That's like 15 bucks, a little bit more. So I think it was worth it. You get some exclusive yarn that only a certain number of people are going to have to work with. So you can make all of your friends jealous. And it's really pretty, and it's really high quality, um, for what I, from what I can tell. And um, I just, I really like the overall packaging. I feel special when I'm opening it. And I think you guys would like it too. So if you're interested, you know, make sure to check out the link below. The or the URL is yarn-crush.com. Make sure to check it out. Um, there's two subscription options, monthly and bi-monthly. The bi-monthly is, I think, $2 more, but that way you can space out your payments if you don't feel like you can, you know, invest $33 every month or such. And, yeah, I think that's it. I'm really happy, and I can't wait to start working on this 
pattern because yeah it'll be my first foray into actually like tricky socks um, so it'll be fun to challenge myself and see what I can do definitely make sure to check it out uh, I think this is a this particular subscription box is really good for those of you who are on a budget especially because you do get some high quality yarns in there if you're looking to experiment and also the exclusivity so definitely check it out let me know what you think um, if you're interested in buying it uh, make sure to check out their website follow them um, I know they're definitely on Instagram so make sure to go on Instagram they post pictures now and then um, really pretty pictures all the yarn pretties so I will talk to you guys soon. I hope uh, you like the package too, and maybe I'll see you around. Bye.